Hey guys, um, today I just wanted to talk about my um, cricket setup. Um, I live in New Zealand and we have um, black crickets. Um, basically, the setup that I've got at the moment is just um, it's just a box, a 60 litre um, storage box. Um, I've got a, a wire going into it with a 100 watt um, light bulb. This, um, for the size of the container, this is enough heat to provide um, up to uh, 20 to 21 degrees, uh, which is on, there's like this thermometer thing here, you put on fish tanks normally. Um, that provides the correct temperature for the crickets to grow and reproduce um, in, a, in a, the best best range of temperature to be honest well basically um, it takes about a month uh, it could t it can take a little bit less depending on the temperature for the crickets to grow from a, a baby to an adult at these temperatures uh, at the bottom I'll just show you at the bottom of the tank I've got a uh, or at the container I've got a layer of peat moss. It's about one and a half inches thick. It goes all the way around the whole container. The reason that I'm doing this is because I only bought 45 crickets and I wanted to make sure that I would have the most uh, the most room for them to lay their eggs. The reason for doing this is because if I had put them in a small box and there was only a small container for them to lay the eggs in, it would be a lot harder for them to find them. So at least in here, uh, with having so much surface area for them to lay in, it, they don't have to pick and choose or, or try and find the container to lay in. So they're going to be laying much more frequently. This is just to start with. So they'll lay the eggs everywhere and they'll all hatch, right? And then once they've hatched, I will put egg cartons in and then capture the babies that have hatched and put them into a separate container but at the moment for for what it is it's it's the best setup that I've got for starter culture now for the food what I give these is it's just this it's just goldfish granules I sprinkle it in there uh, whenever like every second day I just make a small pile um, in front of the egg cartons that way they can come out and they can eat when they want to um, also for the water that I give them I have a big bucket of um, water crystals I've added um, some some color to it so it's not just plain clear but it's just um, pretty simple so these um, water crystals are very cheap. I'd say I paid about oh, maybe $2 for this container. They're just called uh, water storage crystals. Uh, what you do is you get them at the, the nursery or wherever you buy plants and stuff from. It's usually quite cheap. They um, You add water to it. You, put, you can put food coloring in it to make it a different color so it's not just plain white normally they're clear when they uh, swell up so I do that and then I put it in the bucket and just mix it with water you just keep adding water until it stops absorbing so as far as the inside of the container goes I just use um, an old egg carton um, some old toilet rolls um, yeah, just you put the put them in there, and they really like hanging out on them. They like to hide in there because it's um, hidden away from you know from from sight, and they don't they don't really like to be disturbed. They do prefer to um, they do prefer to hide in the cracks and stuff, which is what. They would actually do in the wild if if they were in a 
The grassy patch or if they're with, uh, near some rocks and stuff, they usually hide under rocks um, because they get quite warm. Um, and towards the end of the season, uh, when they, they sort of go into hibernation in winter, they hide under rocks um, in the wild and out of sight from people and stuff. The main thing I will say about crickets is that they're fairly easy to set up. The only running cost that you really have is the the light bulb. The The food and the, the water crystals will last you for months and months. I The last time I did this, um, <clears throat> I had uh, this set up for probably, probably six months or more. I had over two and a half thousand crickets in there. Um, and the food and stuff never ran out. I probably used about half a container of the the um, food and the water crystals I don't use much. I use about a, one handful for every three days in, in the box. Other than that, um, the main thing is just getting a reliable source for, to get your starter pack from. Um, I bought them online from somebody um, up north. They sent it down and then I just yeah basically just started it like this um yeah another option you have is you can also use um food scraps from the kitchen uh just don't put onions in there um, because they don't eat the skins but you can put most vegetables uh just make sure that you keep an eye on it so that it, when it starts molding you remove it from the container um, I put banana in there, banana skins, uh, they eat some of it. Um, yeah, mold is probably the biggest problem with when it comes to crickets. You want to make sure that you remove any dead bodies, um, like if there's any dead big ones. you want to, The skins that they shed, you don't really need to remove those because they, they do eat the skin because it's protein for them. When they shed, they normally eat them straight away. But sometimes they leave them lying around and you might think, oh damn, you know, oh heck, there's a, a dead one in there. But if you look at it, it's just the skin. So it's nothing to really worry about. Um, like I said, they don't like to be disturbed, but they do come out. They do come out and eat every so often. I don't know if you can really see them, but they're, they're on the egg cartons. They like to spend time hanging out um, under this artificial sun and they like to chill inside the tubes. But yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's very low maintenance. I, I don't, You don't ever really have to change the soil unless you're really worried about the smell. And that's another thing. If you are going to be concerned about the smell of the crickets, which can be quite bad depending on what you're feeding them, you you want to keep them out in the shed. I've got mine in this storage shed of my house, um, so it's not really a problem. Uh, but if you have them inside your house, it definitely will start to smell pretty bad. Um, there are solutions online of, of how you can solve that problem. I think it includes cleaning up and things like that, but as far as I'm concerned, they're animals and they should be outside. They, they smell pretty bad. Um, but yeah, if you have any other questions um, regarding breeding crickets, um, where to get them from, like anything like that, or, or any problems that you might be having with them, just uh, yeah, leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching.